Hello. I have made this short video as an additional material to my lecture on valuing convertible bonds. Basically, I want to show you how we can calculate value of a bond that are convertible into shares. So, how to value convertible bonds is the agenda. Now, look into this diagram. This diagram, in fact, explains the major idea of convertible bond valuation. Well, when share price is below P, the share price is below P, it is unlikely that the bond will be converted into shares. Therefore, it is effectively a straight bond. So, you can find the value of the straight bond using simple bond pricing formula. However, when the sale price is above P greater than this P, this gives an advantage to bond holders to convert the bond into shares. The convertible bond price will be the conversion value which is basically the share price times the conversion ratio. Okay, now here is the example and the steps. What we will do, we will first calculate the zero and the forward rates. Then we will find the bond value using simple present value formula. First, the zero price. What I will do, I will show you using Microsoft Excel. This is something I've already done here. So, we needed to find out zero price and forward rates. First, the zero price. To calculate zero price, you are simply finding the discount rate of one pound using the spot rate. Forward rate. Forward rate is zero price at n divided by zero price n plus one minus one. It is again simple. Now, let us find out the bond value, assuming it is not going to be converted, i.e. normal bond. The rate that we use to discount will be the spot rate plus a spread. Because the spot rate is like risk-free rate and the spread is the proxy for premium. So we capture a realistic rate by adding up the spot rate plus the spread. Now, calibration of interest rate tree to get the present value of 1012.95. Goes like this. What we do, we need to find out the interest rate. So you construct the binomial model interest rate tree such as this. You go here and take the forward rate of second year, which is 11.94 to start with. So 11.94 percentage. Now this is basically the 3.85 which we have here. Yeah? Okay. 3.85 which is forward rate. Yeah? So you have this. Now, over here we have used a formula and the formula is this. This one here. 
basically we have used two times standard deviation because we have two possible ways going up going down so the volatility is therefore multiplied by q now after this what you do is you know the cash flows for year one and year two and you need to find out the present value in time zero so what you do now is you work out this cash flows and you're finding here the present values okay finding here the present values now this is basically a simple present values but you're dividing it by two you see here dividing it by two mainly because you are you have either F23 or F25 so 23 1090 or this so you need to divide it by 2 because there is 50% probability okay but what you need is basically this present value to be equal to this 1012.95 so you need a rate that will give you this value equal to the value of the bone which is 1012.95 to find it what you need to do is apply the goal sick formula approach for which you'll go to data what if analysis goal sick set cell 996.33 so b25 which is correct true value you need 1012.95 by changing cell you are going to change the cell this one because the one on the top already has the formula on it so now you get 1012.95 and you can see the rate has now changed okay now it's easy you need to find out the value of the embedded call option so basically you are repeating this binomial tree again here and you find the value of the call option okay here you are just repeating everything and you are finding the value of the call for which you are doing minimum either d24 or h4 h4 is basically the power value of the bone which is 1000 d24 is basically this number here 953.01 so basically minimum will be 953.01 okay you do the same here and you will get the present value which will be same as before therefore the value of the call option is equal to zero yeah now it will not be the same for put option because in put option you will not look into minimum but you will look into maximum therefore the put value is 1043.26 therefore you have 30.31 as your value of the put option what you need to do now is to find out is to find out these parameters u d p okay and this is conversion value okay now basically once you are able to find out these values then it's simple okay what are we doing here we find by how much the share price will increase that is u or decrease that is d and then we determine the probability p of the upper value and probability 1 minus p of the lower value remember conversion value is 912 which is conversion ratio times stock price per share okay after that here you start with 912 use u to go into this state so this is it you multiply 912 by this value here and so on and these are all represented by red arrows for u and v okay now you go here and each time you are on these points you are making a decision whether to convert or not so basically here you are converting because it's higher than 
1000, which is the power value. So 231. Here you are not converting because it is lower than 1000, so only 0. And applying all this, you find the present value, which is this. Remember, in this case, while finding out the present value, you are using the exponent function because this is about sale price, not about the bond, like we did here. And in case of sale price, the sale price fluctuates on a daily basis, so it's good to use exponent function. And you find the value of equity call is equal to 69.37. Now what you do, you add up all these values. You add up the, these values, which I will show you using the precedence. So you add up value of equity call, you add up value of put option, you add up value of call option, and finally you add up the straight line bond value. What you receive is called convertible bond value. Of course, some reading is important. This is a short video, but the materials are available in my blog at www.wordpress.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.